All right, today we're going to be doing an ABB CSE N630 screen separable straight connector unboxing and installation video on a safe link. So I've unboxed everything from the kit. We're going to get the instructions and go through the bill of materials to make sure everything is included. So we should start with, we have over here the connector bodies with the earths already attached and the capacitive plug cover. We have the capacitive test point plugs themselves. We have two tubes of insulation grease, a roll of emery cloth. We should have nine cleaning wipes in there, a roll of J20 self-fusing tape, a skinny roll of PVC, three fixing ring collars, three fixing ring collar screws, three adapters for the cables, lugs with shear off bolts, pressure rings to go under the lugs, a screw kit, an installation tool for the capacitive test points, and a formula Allen key. So starting with a trifurcated cable, I've marked 700mm from the end of the core. What this is going to allow is the screen wires to make it down to the earth bar in one go. Before I strip down my core, it's always a good idea to hit it with a bit of heat. This will soften the heat shrink and make it easier to split off. Right now, as soon as I've done that, the outer sheath's come off. I'm going to make a measurement 250 down from that sheath cut. And that is where we're going to secure our screen wires as they come down. Okay, so folding those screen wires down, trying to get as few crosses as possible. I'm just going to secure it with a bit of PVC tape while I get the rest. So at that 250 mark, just going to secure those screen wires with a binder. Okay, you're going to measure up now to 175 from the folded screen wires to cut the core. Okay, next up, we're going to remove the semicon 35mm from the end. After cutting through the semicon, we're about to do tram lines to remove it. Okay, just taking that insulation off to 55 millimetres. All right, so what we should have now, 35 millimetres from the edge of the screen cut to the semicon, 85 millimetres of insulation, and 55 millimetres of core. After that, we're going to use J20 sealing tape. We're going to start 30 mil onto the screen wires and come 20 mil from the end of the semicon cut. Next up, we get the skinny roll of PVC tape and we want five layers around this point here just to lock on that J20 tape. Before fitting the adapter, we want to protect the cable core by applying a little bit of PVC tape just on the edge of the insulation and wrapping up the cores. We're going to apply a little bit of silicon grease evenly inside the adapter itself and some to the XLP insulation. Next up, we're going to fit the adapter and push it all the way home. Remove the tape. This should leave about four millimeters of XLP exposed through the top of the adapter. Next up is the pressure ring. You notice one side has a recess. That needs to go facing down over towards the XLP. Next up, we have the shear bolt lugs. What we should do with the lugs is check the anti-friction washer is pushed all the way home and won't come loose. Okay, spin those bolts up to hand tight before finishing with a tool. Before we carry on any further with the termination, we need to fit the fixing ring to the bushing to allow the capacitive test point to enter the connector. We need to be mindful of the second thread as this will dictate the direction of the next connector. Install the grub screw till it's flush using the Allen key provided. Before we install the connector, we need to apply a little bit of grease to the adapter. This will allow easier installation of the connector. In addition to greasing the adapter, we need to grease up the large orifice of the connector to allow it to slip onto the bushing. Once these two surfaces have been greased, the connector body can go over the termination. Slide 
the connector down, it should rest near the screen wires. After sliding the connector over the body, we need to clean any grease off the lug before we bolt to the bushing. Bolt the lug to the bushing palm and tighten to 45 newton meters. Before we install a connector, I thought I might just take a minute to explain what's going on. If you see inside the connector here, we've got a conductive inner surface, which is in contact with a pressure ring. And here's our fixing ring there with the thread facing forwards for the capacitive test point. They've included in the kit a tool that will allow you to line up the connector housing with this point. Before we install the capacitive test point later, we'll just explain now that a very minimal amount of pressure onto the bushing is required to hold the capacitive test point in place as it is a brass thread, it easily shears. With the lug bolted to the palm, we can now install the connector over the bushing. The tool can be used now to line up the body getting ready for the capacitive test point. The tool should end up flush with the outside. Apply a small amount of grease to the capacitive test point. This will allow much easier insertion into the aperture of the connector body. Gently turn the capacitive test point with a formula Allen key provided. The capacitive test point should end up flush with the connector body and as it's tightened, do it till just firm. After double checking, the test point is flush with the connector body, place over the screen cap. Now that the third connection is complete, we'll go down and do the earth. Right here, so I've selected an appropriate size lug and taped up the earth screens, ready to connect the earth bar. Lastly, we need to connect the drain wires down to the earth bar. For older models, we have to drill a 7mm hole in the bar to allow fitment of the lug. Alright, so there you have it. Our termination is complete. For any further inquiries, please contact Technical Training at Endeavour Energy.